going journey group leaders hope you guys are having a great week i uh, just wanted to touch base with you for just a few moments here uh Real quickly, two things. Um, so excited and just want to celebrate with you guys. Uh, one, what an incredible job um, all our groups did in coming around what was a marriage retreat for church planters. Um, we had almost 40 church planters uh, and their wives uh, for the last few days uh, that were encouraged and loved on uh, in Myrtle Beach. And uh, you guys played in such an incredible role in that. You've been praying for them. Many of you have given financially to them, um, helping provide uh, what was an amazing uh, meal uh, for these couples. And they have just been uh, just loved on and encouraged uh, from so many different areas. And you guys played an incredible way, uh, role in that. I just want to thank you guys for the leadership that you brought, uh, both uh, from our church and then to our groups, um, by just helping bring together what are two huge parts for our church, uh, redeeming the family and church planting. This was a uh, just a beautiful way that those two things came together, and just want to thank you for that. Um, second, just want to say thank you for the way Give Thanks, Give Love came off. We had uh, we taken responsibility for a 100 kids uh, that will be provided shoes, coats, and a medical exam, and excited to tell you that all 100 of those kids were taking responsibility for it. In fact, we have people that are going online now to ifmissions.org, uh, um, adopt, excuse me, sponsor a child and are sponsoring even beyond that. So it's it's even going beyond that now. Um, but just a great thanks to that. Please pass that on to your groups. Let them know what a great job uh, they have done in both of those areas. And, um, uh, and, and now just a couple things that are coming up. I um, want to just make you aware of uh, November 28th is a date that we'll be starting back, something we had last year in partnership with Sangaree Intermediate, which is Lunch Buddies. Um, just for information for you, Lunch Buddies is a one time a month commitment for about an hour. On the fourth Wednesday of each month, we will go to Sangaree Inter Intermediate and have lunch with uh, with a child that the school will identify as someone that they would love for us to invest time in. I'll tell you this, of the leaders that were involved in it last year, we had almost 20. Uh, majority, if not all those, are coming back now to be a part of that program as just a testimony of what, uh, what that was to both them as individuals and certainly to the school. And we're excited to have that started back. So uh, November 28th, the time frame is from 11.30 to about 12.15. Uh, we ask people to be there at 11.15, but we need to know if they're interested in that because we want to uh, we'll need to probably get a background check and we want to make sure that they understand that um, this is a commitment we're going to ask for them to do throughout the year uh, to be there because we don't want to leave these kids hanging and expecting for someone to come and have lunch with them because um, they'll be eating with the same child each each month and so really excited for this to start back it'll be the 28th and then one more time in December before the school year uh, closes out uh, before break. Um, and last of all, you've heard us talk a good bit about Love Gave uh, coming up as part of our next steps uh, to our Orphan Sunday, which was just amazing. Um, and uh, Love Gave, again, is just a collaborative effort around churches inside of our city that are going to be coming around the idea of orphan care and serving those organizations for 58 hours. Uh, our particular location will be at Goose Creek Walmart, um, and we won't be alone. We're going to be doing that with Cane Bay, with River Bluff, and a few other um, organizations inside of our area to bring awareness and to work together, to serve together, uh, to raise supplies that these organizations need. Uh, so here's what we need for you. If you would, uh, begin talking more and more with your group about what it looks like for uh, what might be a three-hour time slot that they may commit to. Some of them may be able to do more um, to be able to come out uh, for one of those 58-hour time slots of three hours to to serve. And there's going to be many different ways they can serve, and we'll be able to to put them in specific locations as we draw closer. Uh, some of them will be at doors handing out some information. Some of them will actually be inside of stores um, shopping with people and uh, actually buying supplies as other financial resources come in and we need to buy product. Um, but there's going to be uh, various different ways uh, that people will be able to engage on that night uh, as that time draws close. And, and um, coming up here, we're supposed to on... Um, Thursday of this week, we're receiving t-shirts uh, for this, uh, and all these t-shirts are actually free to any of our volunteers, so as people sign up, uh, they will be getting a t-shirt, and we're, we want to ask you to not wait until the event to actually wear the t-shirt, but to start wearing the t-shirt as soon as possible, because we want to get the word out of what this is in our community, and we want people to be asking questions uh, about what it is, and so that people can start pointing them uh, to this event, and to come out and support um, 
what is going to be just a really incredible few days, 58 hours of loving on uh, orphans in our city and organizations that are trying to make that difference. So uh, just a few things to put in front of you. Hope you guys are having a great week. If you have any questions on anything we've just talked about, because we want to make sure that we hopefully are giving as clear of information out to you as possible, uh, please don't hesitate to contact me when it comes to volunteers for Love Gave. Uh, Savannah Root will be our main point of contact for that. Um, but if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to to contact either one of us as we want to make sure that you are the most informed people that we have here. Um, we love you guys. Thank you for the incredible work that you are doing inside of our church, inside of our city, and uh, keep it up.